So is Saudi Arabia trying to destroy a monster that it helped create? My next guest tells me, better late than never, Saudi prince and billionaire businessman Al-Walid bin Talal joined me earlier from Paris. Saudi Arabia has been blamed over many, many, many years for funding and allowing extremism to, to flourish. Doesn't Saudi Arabia also bear so much of the brunt of the blame for the rise of ISIS and such groups? Well, when the, the, the Syrian uh, civil war began, Saudi Arabia and many other Gulf countries uh, and many, many other countries in the world also supported uh, all those groups that were trying to, to topple uh, the regime over there. And unfortunately, the result of that was uh, the rise of ISIS. What about funds by wealthy individuals in Saudi Arabia? Are they allowed to? Do they get punished now for sending funds to any kind of extremist group? No doubt that, uh, and with all honesty, uh, I tell you that, yes, uh, we had a weakness over there, whereby some, unfortunately, some extremists in Saudi Arabia, extremist elements, extremist elements in Saudi Arabia did uh, fund uh, certain uh, extremist elements in Syria. But uh, Saudi Arabia has taken very strict uh, uh, rules to stop that from happening. And yes, right now, all this has been uh, stopped completely.